Hey everyone, Tom here, and welcome back to another vlog on the Racing Joker channel. We're uh, doing a vacation vlog uh, today. I'm uh, going on vacation in a few days. I'm just gonna, I'm still at work, technically. Um, I've got a 300 mile route tomorrow. It's, that's a tiny route, like no miles at all, nothing. Not gonna be a huge paycheck, but that's okay. I'm just looking forward to getting some time off. It's paid time off. I need to use it or else I can't use it for this year and it, and it doesn't stack to next year. So gonna be going to Branson. Got lots of cool stuff planned for Branson. This vlog is mainly just gonna be about be kind of a fun montage of my whole week of vacation hopefully I'm not gonna film all of it and um, maybe I'll split it into a few different videos I know one thing is gonna get its own video and that is the Celebrity Car Museum in Branson Missouri I'm gonna be heading over there and checking out some Fast and Furious cars from the first movie and some others too and um, that's gonna be really interesting but I just finished recording Furious 7 and um, I'm tired I think I'm just gonna go to bed. So, as you guys can see, it's daylight out. I'm at the loves. In the next clip, it's gonna be nighttime. And I'm gonna be doing a quick drive to Osceola. And then I'm gonna come right back here. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna work on thumbnails, give you guys a, an update on how things are going. And then that'll be that. Hopefully, maybe I can get, I don't know, maybe I can get the, uh, the registration done on the M3 and drive that around at home before I before we come back because we were able to do it online which is cool but I think next month I'm between doing gaming or a whole new series of Ice Age videos I might do some Ice Age stuff and then I'll do gaming the month after that and then I'll do Fate of the Furious or whatever or Hobbs Hobbs and Shaw I don't know which one comes n next I'll do some research I'm just lazy right now. I want to go to bed. So, uh, good night. Even though it's uh, 1.47 p.m. And I have to dock out a trailer by 10.30 p.m. So I've got 8 hours and 40 minutes to sleep. So I'm going to freaking sleep. See ya. Alright, morning? Well, morning. It's my morning anyways. See? <laughs> Alright, time to go to work. All right, today is Sunday. I'm heading to the DC in just a few minutes. Um, I'm uploading something special to my old YouTube channel, and um, I'll probably take a look at that on the main channel later, but it's just an archival thing. But anyways, um, I, uh, <laughs> I've decided to start my vacation just a little early, mainly food-wise. Um, I just got myself a slushie because I haven't had one in, I don't know, two years or more. And I had some extra food yesterday. I had like a hamburger and like a spicy chicken sandwich yesterday because I had a headache and I don't know why. So I tried eating to see if it would, that would solve it and then it did. But now I'm my stomach just hurts because <laughs> truck stop food, obviously. So I'm assuming that's, I'm hoping that it's, it's just truck stop food that hurts. But there's also the concern, just turn on the light a little bit, that uh, just anything that is not healthy now, because my body isn't super used to it, if I eat extra food and this, that, and the other, it seems to uh, cause me pain. And uh, so I don't know how much fun food I'll be eating on my vacation. I want to eat fun food, but I also don't want to be in pain for my whole vacation. So we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. The skies are putting on a light show. I don't know how much of that you guys can see. That's pretty cool. This, that's just constant. That's constant flashing. Man, what makes that happen? I mean, you get the occasional thunder and lightning out here, but I've never seen it that that sustained before that's so cool I just I just wanted to see if I could catch it on camera I'll watch that back later Oh 
boy. I had to just kind of take a minute there. We had the wind speeds pick up, and I just kind of, uh, I don't know, I think there was a, a, a second there where not all of my wheels were on the ground. There was a sudden gust of wind, and it was, uh, that was something else. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Only missing two open parts. And those parts are broken. I'm gonna keep you in night vision. I don't know how much that's really helping you though. Rain just suddenly stopped. Oh man. Hey Ellie, do you like the truck? Yeah. Yeah? It's big. <laughs> Can you say truck? Yeah. Truck? Yeah? Good job. On vacation? Yeah. You ready to go on vacation? Yes. You got your milk? Alright everybody. Oh wait, you're not even buckled. No, she just got in her chair on her own. Are you ready, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to Branson. We're also going to be using my truck GPS just to see how this works. I hit it. Um, I'll just put in the address and we can uh, do that. And the reason why we're going to be using this GPS, if you can see with the, inf the reflections here, is that what we can do is add a stop to our route that's along our route so we don't have to take a detour just go to here and click gas station do all and it will give us routes along the route so we don't have to take a detour so that we don't have to add any time to our trip apart from our stops and we can match it with our range but we, we have enough gas it'll just be for food and stuff All right, we're at stop number one. Might be our only stop. It's a Casey's. Basically what I did is I used the cool feature here. So if I, I'll put in the hotel address real quick. So what we can do, I'll show you because now there's no glare. I just go to here, add a stop, and then I can pick whatever type of stop I want. And I can go to gas station, diesel or gasoline to gasoline and it shows us all the different types now it only shows specific types there's some that won't show up on here and it depends on how close they are to the exit along the route but it's really good for trip planning so like if I had 200 miles of range I would just pick something 150 miles along the route but this is an easy drive it's only a <laughs> this sounds weird but a four hour drive is a walk in the park. <laughs> it's easy, it's easy mode. I ain't concerned about it at all. Well, I'm gonna clean up some of the car. That was easy. That was a super easy drive. We just had to make it, oh man, forehead pimple. I'm growing my third eye. We have uh, made it to the inn. Uh, Heather and Ellie have gone inside to uh, check in. So yeah, that was an easy drive. Driving this thing is a lot easier than driving the, uh, <laughs> the semi. I think Charlotte just woke up. So. Yeah, um, I'm probably going to get a few chill video vlog type things, a uh, bit of content out of being out here. 
Um, don't know how many videos will come out of it. There's lots of good food activities out here, but I am going to have one dedicated video uh, coming up for just going to the Celebrity Car Museum to film some Fast and the Furious cars and a few other cars. So stay tuned for that because that'll be really cool. But for now, we're going to check in, maybe go and grab some milk and water and things for the kids and then uh, figure out where to go from there. But um, yeah, that was an easy drive. Uh, four hours, easy mode in a comfortable car. Could have done it without stopping because of the nice uh, fuel economy, but <laughs> uh, the fuel economy of the bladders of some of the people in this car are, are not as good as mine or the cars, so it is what it is. Um, but that's fine. I wasn't in a hurry to get here. Um, but I did I did all the driving and everyone just got to relax. What do you think? I think they did. Do you like this room? Yeah. All right, which bed are you sleeping on? That one? Oh, you want to sleep on that one? I'm sleeping on that one. Oh. Hi, Vivi. Uh, did no. you have a good nap? Yes, you did. It's a good room, actually. We're staying at the Honeysuckle Inn in Branson, Missouri. <laughs> um, not bad prices, I'll be honest. <laughs> not bad prices. Because what is it for like a whole week here, Heather? Three hundred. Like 360 bucks. Pretty much, yeah. 360 bucks. We got Wi Fi, a TV, microwave, microwave fridge, Moscato, because my wife is a, a goofball. And I figured she'd need some. She's had a long week. All right, we're going to get settled in. Ellie, are you ready to see some butterflies? Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Charlotte? Looks like she's flipping off the camera. <laughs> yeah. All right, Butterfly Palace. It's following you. This looks like there's a mirror right here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that's actually really trippy. I'm trying to feel out for all the mirrors. Oh, here's one. Oh, night vision works really good in here. We're in a mirror maze. Oh boy. I think it's this way, maybe? There's a mirror here. There's a mirror there. There's a mirror here. Oh! I almost walked into that. Okay, going right seems to be a really good rule of thumb in here. This looks like a mirror. That's a mirror. Well, I can see myself in it. That's actually the main clue. <coughs> Isn't this crazy, Ellie? Yeah, baby, it's mine, though. Yeah, it is. I think we got to the end, Ellie. Good job, Ellie. What'd you find? Oh, you step on him. <laughs> All the way up. Are you our guide, Ellie? There's a lot of monarchs in here. <laughs> yep, no, no, you just hold it out and they'll come to you, see? They like her bow. <laughs> oh, mama, bye. Ah. Huh. Me too. I love it's okay. Do you want mom to hold it for you? Yes, please. you. You got one on your head. That was funny. It's gone now. <laughs> that was pretty funny. No! There's one on Charlotte. Oh, there's one on her hand. Hi, <laughs> No! One just.
just tried to land on my ear. <laughs> you're so pretty. You're like a Disney princess. <laughs> okay, you're okay. He's just a butterfly. <laughs> Hello. What did you think of the butterflies? Did you like the butterflies? Yeah, those are butterflies. Did you like the butterflies? Yeah. Yeah? Did they kind of freak you out? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, high five for being super brave. Yeah. Yes, good job. I'm proud of you. Well, good job, Charlotte. Our kids are like Disney princesses. They had a lot of butterflies on them. We just had to stop telling Ellie they were there. Ellie, come back! Yeah. Are you are you up ahead of us? Yes. Yeah. Did you have fun, Ellie? Yeah. Did you get a caterpillar? Yeah. Should we put Charlie as a butterfly and you as one of the people? Do you want to be a butterfly or a people? <laughs> Hi. Oh, you want a butterfly? Are you a butterfly? Hi, butterfly. You need to leave all your stuff there? No. Do you want to bring your caterpillar? Yeah. Okay. okay. You want to hold it for you? No. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to go see fishes? Yeah! All right, we're going to the aquarium. Can you say fish? Pip. Fish? Thanks, Are you excited? Yes! Do you see the octopus? Yes! Are you saying hi to the octopus? Yes! Say hi! hi. your oyster, but it doesn't mean you catch its pearl. Hi. The great Crabino has... Ah! Oh, oh my! Don't touch the glass, okay? You don't want to scare them. That one's looking at you. Oh! Oh dear! Do you like the pink fishes? Yes! I do! I do! I do! I do! Look at the fishes over here. Yay! Oh, it's a puffer fish. That's a big puffer fish. Huge. Because I saw its leg down there. You see it sticking out down there? It's huge. Oh, it's moving too. It like moved. <laughs> Going on the sea bars? Yes. Okay. Yay! Smile at Mama and say hi! No touching glass. Ah, oh, I do. Huh? Hi. Hi. Can you sing hi to the fishes? I love it. Do you like them? Yeah. Hi. That's a pretty one. Look up, Ellie. Look up. 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 Look
Oh, you're right. That's our turtle. He's got big flippers. Show me. Yeah. Do you like this one? Yeah. Me. Me. Little fish? Look at Charlotte. She like loves the babies. Like, oh, dang, dang. Oh, it's a Doing another quick sound test. How we doing? Hello? Hello? Oh. Hello? Don't mind my talking in this. Hey guys, I just realized I didn't end out uh, today's vlog. Uh, I wanted to appreciate you guys kind of going on this little trip with me uh, to Branson, Missouri. I'm back to work now. My vacation's over. Uh, <laughs> I like being on vacation, man. I used to not really give a about vacation. I can really appreciate being on vacation now. Now that I've got a job. Like a, a real job. Where being on vacation means something. I'm just doing my paperwork here. I got a trailer brought to me so the paperwork isn't entirely filled out the way I would like it to be. So I'm doing that now. But yeah, we went to Branson, Missouri as a family. Went to uh, the Butterfly Palace got to see the aquarium got to see got to have some delicious food i'm sure that set back my uh diet journey a bit but not a lot that's fine it is what it is i wasn't gonna worry about that sort of thing and ruin my vacation being concerned about my weight loss journey it's not like my health is in jeopardy so why act like it um i'll still be under 200 pounds at some point i don't i don't think i gained that much anyways I don't feel particularly different but yeah it was a lot of fun I enjoyed doing that kind of content and filming I really like doing IRL stuff I always find IRL stuff to be the most fun to film um, but I can't do it as often because that requires to have freedom of movement and a lot more money in some cases with a lot of the content I want to do, which is kind of traveling content. Like if I had the money and the time, I would take you guys to different countries and just show you what I know about them and explore with you guys and then go to places I've never been before. But alas, exploring the world is a privilege. Right now I don't have that. This first store isn't getting any frozen stuff. Sucks to be them. But actually they're probably pretty happy about that <laughs> now that I think about it. But uh, yeah. Um, I know this isn't really content most of you will be watching, but for those of you that have been watching up until this point, I hope you guys kind of, you know, you enjoyed watching what we were doing, but I also hope it kind of makes you go, you know what, I need to set aside some time to go on a real vacation, if you haven't been on one in a while, because I don't vacation very often, and I don't take breaks very often. I never would have I never would have thought I'd be the sort of person that'd be really good at keeping myself busy. But now I'm really good at just overflowing my, my, my life with projects and keeping myself busy. And then either sometimes procrastinating, but then just finding new things to do that I consider to be productive. Apparently being productive is more important than my health and I need to get out of that habit. So um, if you're anything like me, I urge you to uh, take care of yourself and also enjoy yourself and do something that is not productive because ultimately it kind of is productive because it's good for you thank you all for watching um, I might do more road trip content in the future I really really want to I, I really really want to do road trip content 
Um, I think it would be super, super fun. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I'm imagining most of my viewers for this video will be the OGs and the people that um, are already subscribed. Most of my viewers are. Whenever I look at the comments and things like that, it's usually it's usually usernames I can recognize, which I think is kind of cool. And um, yeah, long winded at long winded intro. I just woke up. I don't know if you can tell. You probably recognize me from when I did the uh, emissions monitor vlog or whatever. I recorded both of these videos and outros on the same day. I'm about to drink a sugar-free Red Bull and uh, either wake up or increase my heart rate. I don't really have that problem yet. They still kind of work on me. I mean, energy drinks don't actually give you energy, just to be clear. Um, they just make you feel less tired. But it doesn't change how tired you actually are. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Tom the Racing Joker. If you like it, you've seen so far and you're not subscribed yet, be sure to fix that by hitting that subscribe button. Do it. If you made it to this video and you haven't subscribed yet, you'll love what I got planned. And I'll see you all next time. See ya!